Hey guys, what's up? Midnight Strike here, and if you know me, you know that I am a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. I'm actually playing Metal Gear Solid 2 right now on the PS3, but that is beside the point. I am here to talk to you today about something that a lot of people have actually come up to me and asked me about, and that is the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. I actually have uh, three things to say to that. What's the point? Okay, hear me out on this one. Okay, it's pretty sweet that they're coming out, coming forward and making an entire collection of all the games in the series, well, save Portable Ops, and, um, yeah, save Portable Ops. But, that aside, it hasn't even been two full years since the HD collection hit the market in 2011. It has not been two years. The HD collection hit in November. It's not even, it's going to be released in July. So... What's the point? I mean, it just seems like a lazy cash grab. They're just including the HD collection, adding in the fourth game, and um, putting in VR missions and Metal Gear Solid 1. The real, the real question is, what are they going to do with Metal Gear Solid 1? Are they actually going to give it an HD makeover, or are they just going to be lazy and include uh, Twin Snakes with trophies? I mean, Twin Snakes? I mean, don't get me wrong, it is... A faithful remake, except for the fact that it <laughs> kind of destroys the uh, soundtrack, the di it butchers the dialogue, destroys some boss battles, and to be honest, I mean, the first one for the PS1 is way better, in my opinion at least, but that's just me. Anyways, what are they going to do with it? This just seems like a lazy cash grab to me. All they have to do, they don't even have to remake anything. With the HD collection, they had actually had to do work to remake the second title, or re redo the second title, redo the uh, Peace Walker and uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 stuff, and they actually had to put in new textures, add, uh, add some trophies, but they already have that for this release. All they have to do is include the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on a disc. It's like in 2010 when they tried to release Super Mario All-Stars on a Wii disc, and all they did, they didn't even change the graphic of the Super, Super Nintendo controller. It's like, what the fuck? So... This kind of reminds me of a pointless greatest hits package for, say, Metallica or, you know, Dream Theater, um, ACDC, if they ever did make a greatest hits. They're against that, but that's beside the point. At least with bands like Bon Jovi, all of their greatest hits stuff include new tracks, so at least there is some sort of reason to go out and buy them. This, on the other hand, this is like Alice in Chains. They released a uh, greatest hits CD in 2001. And everyone was going, what's the point? This is like Guns N' Roses, where they release a greatest hit CD, but of course, you know, the original incarnation of them is dead, so yeah, they didn't release any new tracks. So it's like, there's there's really no inclination for me or any other person who is a fan of the series to, to get this, because I already have every single game that they're trying to sport here. You know, Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, Peace Walker, and... Uh, and, um, what was, and Metal Gear Solid 4, especially, what's the point of putting Metal Gear Solid 4 in a Legacy Collection? Ooh, it's HD and it's got trophies. Well, guess what? It's always been in HD and it just got trophies yes or last year. I almost said yesterday. It just got trophies last year, not even a year ago. So there's really no point for this. So my, my question is, you know, what are they going to do with the first one? I mean, even if they give the first one a complete remake or a complete makeover... If they sell it separately, I'll buy it separately on the PSN. But, you know, also, why is this only for PS3? Is it just because of Metal Gear Solid 4 being included? But, yeah, that, that'd be like Metal Gear Solid 4 on the Xbox 360. That'd shut up a lot of people who are saying that it, the Xbox 360 can't play it. I don't know if it can, but that's different video, different day. So, yeah. What do you guys think about it? I personally think that it is a cash grab and that it's kind of like a lazy... Um, way to make money but hey that's just my opinion i won't be getting this even if it has um metal gear solid 1 remade and metal gear solid vr missions which i still need to get for the original ps1 but i'll pick that up on ebay or something i already have the first title but the fact remains that if they sell it separately i'll get it separately for the first one because that would be fucking sweet if they actually remade it with trophies or redid it with some updated textures up res textures so you know keep the soundtrack keep the soundtrack konami or at least remaster the soundtrack like you know what they did with perfect dark xbla on the in the 2010 for their 10th anniversary thing that was one of the best remakes 
I have ever seen of a game, bar none, hands down. Best remakes, probably Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, even though it's just a remastering. Um, Halo Anniversary was really sweet, and Perfect Dark XBLA. Two of those being on Xbox. Come on, man. Well, actually, all of them were on, were on Xbox, but... Yeah, that's beside the point. Now I'm going off tangent. Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. What's the point? <laughs> that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Are you going to get this? Are you going to pick this up when it hits? It's going to hit... I believe I, I saw on the website that it's going to hit July 9th. So, maybe wrong. May not be. But, either way... What do you guys think? Do you think it's a cash grab? Do you think it's an awesome way for new fans to get into the series? So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. This is Midnight Strike 3625. Thank you for watching. Keep calm and rock on.